<sighs> hey, how are you? My name is Jeremy. 365 Day Devotional, Max Lucado's book. God is with you every day. It is dated for December 12th. December 12th, uh, no year. December 12th, 2018, right? And when I'm done with this book, I'll hand it off to somebody else so it can bless their life too. The ABCs of gratitude, Miss Stormy. Let's see. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. James 1.17 Alphabetize your blessings. Start with A and work your way down the alphabet, thanking God as you go. Rather than catalog burdens, itemize benefits. The sure cure for the grumpy spirit. So A is Andy. I'm thankful for Andy. B, <laughs> bald spot. C, for chocolate. And D, for dictionary. It dawns on me that my wife, Adenalyn, names begins with a D. The next time I make this list, my wife trumps dictionary. Which, by the way, is a lesson of exercise. A person never runs out of reasons to say thanks. Thanks. Just the word lifts the spirit. To say thanks and celebrate a gift, something, anything, animals, bot spots, chocolate, dictionaries, or dental. To say thanks is to cross the tracks from have not to have much, from the excluded to the recruited. Thanks proclaims, I'm not disadvantaged, disabled, victimized, or scandalized, forgotten, or ignored. I am blessed. Gratitude is a dialysis of sorts. It flushes the self-pity out of our system. Have you said your ABCs today? I get to go to this job. I'm blessed to have this job. Me and Don joked about that today because uh, he's over at Florida Hospital. Florida Hospital, she's not a nurse, not a floor nurse anymore but more of a, into not really medical coding. Uh, it is partly that, it is, but, it, but it is looking at the files uh, uh, after, after they've already seen the patient and analyzing the data uh, for the doctor, helping the doctor out, um, diagnose or prognosis or whatever, something like that. But uh, they were authorizing overtime, like as much as you want, like not as much as you want, probably, but for weeks and weeks, so she wouldn't sometimes work out with me on Friday, and I said, that's cool, yeah, if you can get overtime, go for it, but now they're only authorizing five hours of overtime, and people are kind of upset about it, but she's okay, she's cool with it, but uh, yeah, it's cool, that's a blessing to get overtime, it's a blessing to have a job, a job, it's even more of a blessing to have a job that's in a nice area, nice environment, it's a good steady and peaceful job and it has benefits and it pays good and you have good management and all that stuff. But that's starting way before. That's We gotta start from the really small stuff and say I'm thankful for this and that and that. It was eye opening a little bit yesterday. Well not really, I've been to church a lot in the past five years so I understand the low of the low, the worst of the worst. The third world countries times 10. I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it and seen I haven't seen it firsthand, but I know how bad it is. So I know how good we got it. Uh, I've said in the past that a lot of you all know that I'm into health and fitness. Um, health and fitness kind of classify myself. My friends always say elite athlete. I say I'm not an elite athlete. I know elite athletes, but I do pretty good for myself. It's because... Um, I always do want to glorify God, God and His kingdom, I do it for Him, and I do what the Bible says, to, to race to win, to race to win, to, the, to win the race, to go through strict training, you know, to win, to glorify God. So I do that, I do things like that, and all things I try to handle for that, to glorify, glorify God, or to fulfill His plan and purpose. So strict training, hard training, uh, but strict dieting too. It's not really a diet, it's just my nutrition's really clean because it works. And it works so well that I get glory because I win races and feel good and look good and still get um, pretty youthful. And uh, and I perform well. I perform well and I'm the light in a dark place. I'm even the light, the LED light in among all the other lights because I stand out. Because the amount of energy that I got from my age, people. Uh, the pro athletes thought I was in my 20s, but I said, no senor, I'm 38. And I'm keeping up with you guys, aren't I, huh? You 23-year-olds. Yeah, so so I like it like that. I love it like that, actually. And I do it all to glorify God. But uh, what well, my point was is 
I keep things pretty simple. Like diet, I keep super simple uh, because it works. And I know what they had. I have an understanding of what they had back 2000, 3000, 4000, 5 years. Very limited, yet they were blessed. They didn't know anything else. They didn't know anything else. So I keep it pretty simple with the five major things that work really good, that taste good and work good and uh, easy to prepare and cost effective and stuff like that. But it just works really well because I, I'm blessed, but, but I'm smart about it. I'm a good steward of what I've got. And I, I understand what other people in the world have got. And I've, I've been there. I'm, I'm out of there yet. And I don't act poor or anything anymore, but I just do something that works and is simple. And I do stuff that's simple that is, uh, like I said, cost effective and efficient so I can do other things. Uh, possibly even saving a lot of money on food so you can have and do other things. Saving a lot of time so you can do other things because a lot of time is wasted on prepping food, buying food and then prepping food and then storing it away uh, and stuff like that. So I'm really good with that. So got your blessings. Our blessing is this, this shelter that we get, you know, to not have to sleep in a car. I slept in a car. Yes, I have. Uh, I think that might have been because I was a, not really, not really a prodigal son or anything, but I was just uh, in between places and didn't want to humble myself. Uh, but I did. I did, but sometimes couldn't afford to drive to back to dad's house. Couldn't do it and needed to be at work the next day, so I just sleep in the car. So I've experienced what that's like. Um, but I see the homeless people on the way to church when I go to a church in the southern Orlando. Uh, they're on the side. They're in their, their tarp tents and clothes are falling off and they have scabs on them and open wounds and shoes aren't good and they're freezing probably and they're probably low on food. But then too, they have access to some of that stuff. I don't know how it works, but um, every time I look at them, I remember how blessed I am. Um, yeah, so it's a... Uh, remember all that small stuff with, that we take for granted uh, even the, the co-workers, the workplace, the, the shelters, the cars, the money, the, uh, I get to go do this and I get to go do that. So, yeah, the blessings are important. Uh, yeah, we forget about that. So be thankful. Gratitude's huge. When we thank God for what we've got and we, first of all, thank Him for what He's done, what He did for us, what Father God did for us, what Jesus did for us, what the Holy Spirit does for us. So, Father God sent his one and only begotten son to die for us, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So what that means to die for us, because we should all be dead already, but we've been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. So God has got this. I always say God is with us. It's the name of the book. God is with you every day. He really is. He allows, he allows things to happen. He allows the devil to sift us or... Uh, the devil definitely doesn't have dominion on on us, but he wants us to uh, make a choice, a simple choice. Do you want to be on his team, on God's team, or you want to be on Satan's team? It's a simple choice. There's good people. There's good people, but it's not necessarily you didn't make the choice to be on my team. Uh, if you're not on my team, you're on the other guy's team. So um, I sent my son for you, my only son, to die for you so that you may have life. Right, and have it abundantly too. So, um, yeah. So, remembering that. No other father has ever done that before in their life. Uh, yeah, done that and then resurrected. But on the third day, he rose, and that is awesome. Very awesome. And he left us the Holy Spirit. So, we have access to heaven. We have the Holy Spirit to lead us. We have his knowledge and wisdom. We have his power inside of us through faith. We have faith, so it's uh, pretty awesome stuff, right? All right, cool. Uh, what am I missing there? The most important was John 3.16, that he came down here, lived a sinless, perfect life, you know, to be the sacrifice for us and then died for us. The blood uh, pays the sin debt, covers all of our sins. The sins are gone. I'm going to take on your sins, and they're gone. You're cleansed, and... Uh, yeah, it's a new life every day. His graces and mercies are new every day. And we're called to become more like Jesus, more like uh, God's Son, Jesus, to become more like Christ-like because the Holy Spirit does live in us in this temple. Uh, but we are still in this flesh and we 
still may have some uh, some desire to do sinful stuff, but if we have the Holy Spirit in us and we're in a close, close relationship to God, then we won't want to do any of that stuff at all. You know, we want to become more like Jesus, right? So cool. That is not hard. It's not really hard. I love that we have um, the Word of God, the Holy Bible, to lead us, to to explain to us how God is and how His Son is and how the disciples and the apostles and the prophets were and what the people experienced back in the Old Testament and the New Testament. So I like that part. But it is that guidebook. It's the handbook. <laughs> it's the, uh, yeah, it's the truths and promises of God. Uh, I promise to never leave you and forsake you, forsake you. I promise. I promise. I am with you always. And uh, all the truths and promises. You know? And that we're more than conquerors. And we can do all things through him that strengthens us. All that and, and thousands more verses that are, are beneficial for us. Beneficial for us to, uh, to follow. That we just stay focused on what the word of God says. Just pursue pursue God and his kingdom and his righteous things and all things will be added on to us if you believe that right so keep your eye on that keep your eye focused on the cross right up there stay in your lane try to run in your lane don't get out of your lane you get faulted for that yep you get disqualified in some cases unless the ref is showing a lot of grace and you know who the ref is here father God and Jesus the ref and he shows grace every day so you might hit that white line a few times you might hit that white line trying to go left when you shouldn't go left or right and he's going to show you grace you need to just stay in your lane and finish the race all right everything that you need is going to be in that lane all right it's going to lead <laughs> it really will lead to glory and it'll probably lead to riches riches Beyond you can imagine, we're not talking monetary riches, but something deeper, something richer than that. Uh, the kingdom of God. Wow. But everything else will be added to you, and the desires of your heart will be fulfilled. He knows what you want without you even praying about it. He knows what good gifts are. He'll give you a good gift, so remember that. Holy Bible is there for you. It's free. What Jesus did, free gift. Just surrendering there, and... Bam! All of a sudden you can do things his way through his strength, through his knowledge and wisdom. He's with you. He'll answer your prayers. Uh, the one who's in closer relationship with him, he may very well bless more. So you just got to find that out for yourself. So uh, he'll lead you. You'll have more peace, more joy, more contentment in life. You'll see doors open. You'll see things the way that God starts to see things. You become more like his son Jesus, like he calls us to do. People will notice that and you know what all that will do is will save souls it will save souls it will save all your friends and you say come on come on you're coming into heaven with me i want you in heaven with me come on instead of later on when they're dying they say why didn't you ever tell me about heaven or jesus why didn't you ever tell me but instead they're going to say jeremy thank you for three four five years ago telling me about about jesus i know i was rebellious and i didn't listen but now i see why why you were talking about that so much and what he can do in somebody's life take somebody from death to life and heal sicknesses and miracles happen but that's through faith through faith in jesus through faith in god um so if you skip that step nothing will work um it's going to be the closest relationship to god especially if you are dying or sick or dying, I have a child that's sick, or family member, or friend that's sick, draw as close to God as you can. Nothing else. As close to God as you can. You don't need to go to websites or Google or WebMD. You need to be in the Word of God. And let those people that were God sent, those angels go to work that are there uh, to be the authority, to maybe be medical personnel, take care of you because they're God sent and they're in the word of God too so the Holy Spirit leads them on what to do if uh, your medical personnel is not in the word uh, God controls all things and knows all people and he created all things so uh, God is with you yeah they'll say look there's my child down there and I'm well pleased in them even though they ran away a little bit they were the prodigal son or daughter I love them I love them and I love them and through this situation it's going to bring me glory 
It is because they're going to profess the name of my son Jesus, my one and only begotten son that I love and I'm well pleased in. So uh, God knows how to work things out in the best way, but he's going to give all people around you hopefully knowledge and wisdom if you alone are pursuing him. Because there's going to be a lot of other people pursuing and who is he going to bless first or be with more? I mean, he could be with everybody at the same time, blessing everybody, but I don't think it works that way. He wants to see people make a choice. A choice to choose him and his son. All right? So make the choices. All right, cool. Surrendering. All right? I can't do this. can't do this alone. I want to do this with you. And it's so exciting, too. It's like an adventure. So it's kind of cool. All right, good. So always be in prayer. Prayer is super powerful. Prayers get answered. How do you fight your battles? Through prayer. We pray. That's how I fight my battles. We pray. Um, we let God fight our battles, right? And that's all. Uh, and we, <laughs> yeah, we're more than conquerors. That's right. We know at the end of the Bible, God wins. Yeah, cool. So pray. Pray for me. Pray for family members. Pray for Heather and Tom and Elena and Griselle and pray for my dad. I always pray for my dad that he finds finds Jesus too. Some people tend to think that they're good to go with God, but they haven't been in the church and they haven't been in the Word of God. They're not making the effort. They don't want to be challenged sometimes. They have fear, but uh, pray for them. Uh, one day it'll just happen. I don't know how it'll happen, but it'll just happen because I know God's got this. Uh, yeah, because of our prayers, because of our petitions, and He will save these people, you know? Cool. Angels go to work. Prayer, be in the Word of God. All right, check out something or watch some sermons. Uh, Passion City Church, Dr. Charles Stanley. You can watch some Francis Chan. If you want to do Elevation Church, go for Elevation Church, Real Life Church, Mosaic Church. There's so many, uh, so much good to watch. Uh, First United Methodist Church. Great preaching everywhere. Many, many anointed people. Gateway Church. Uh, music. Constantly be in the worship music. Keep it around you all day. Don't be... <laughs> don't be like the Gentiles or like the world be like that be somebody pursuing god and honoring god and always be in worship and praise of him because he saved your butt he really did his grace you don't know how much grace and mercy he showed you today but he saved and he's opened all doors and everything that you had guess how that is that's because of him all right not through your own 